So the philosophy and computer science degree at UCL is for you if you want to bring precise, formal tools to bear on the big questions that face us in our lives. What is it to do something fairly? Uh, what is it to do something because you chose to do it rather than because it was just an accident or a toss of a coin? With computer science and philosophy, you get that convergence of ideas, just thinking about logic. Turing machines, theory of computation, algorithms, these kind of things rely on logic. This step equals the next step equals the next step, and then proving it. This EA and philosophy and computer science will be the perfect opportunity for those multi-skilled students. Someone that loves both the humanities and the sciences. Here at UCL we've got two world-leading departments in philosophy and computer science doing research at the intersection of this stuff already. So it makes sense for us to make this joint honours degree together. We get a synergy between a very different discipline on the face of it, philosophy, and using that to drive forward the foundations of computer science. And on the flip side, we pose interesting challenges to, uh, to philosophy. Advances in artificial intelligence raise a whole bunch of questions within philosophy. Think about the notion of algorithmic fairness. We have trained algorithms to select for certain things, and it turned out they have not been fair. So now there's an obvious question about what philosophers interacting with computer scientists should do to devise algorithms which are fair. With deepfakes, with large language models, with healthcare applications as well, there is a lot of problems that need to be tackled when it comes to thinking about the ethics of these applications. I think our graduates are going to be really well placed for a whole bunch of different careers. Consider careers in the civil service. They're going to need to be making decisions that involve, say, regulation of the technological sector. And that's why if you've done a humanities degree which combines some of those technical elements, you'll be really well placed to do something like that. The tech companies who are driving forward the frontiers of computer science and AI right now are really hoovering up people who have that wider view of the policies um, and regulations around future AI systems. I think having a degree from UCL will enhance my CV and prospects, and it, and it already has, uh, in terms of companies reaching out and just emailing me saying, we would love for you to be part of our company. So I'm already starting to see that. When employers see a degree from UCL, they know that you've worked hard to reach that uni and, and, and acquire that degree. In terms of facilities, we invest almost a million pounds a year in state-of-the-art computer equipment. Much of it is state-of-the-art GPUs and a lot of robotics equipment, some VR equipment. Our labs are really good because we have amazing GPUs, really big monitors, so many computers. I've never run out of places to go in terms of the lab because there's so much stuff. The friendships I've made at UCL have been amazing because it's such an international environment. No matter where I end up working at, there's always going to be some connections there, some people we know which is a wonderful thing to have. The reason I chose UCL and London in general is because it has that magic, I suppose, of people who you can communicate with who are just experts in their field, because London kind of draws in those kind of people, people who you will be communicating with for the rest of your lives. Talking to my professors is the most fun I have in my degree, probably, because they're so passionate about their field. They are excited when you ask them questions. I went into philosophy and it was to some extent a, a discipline that had been around for a couple of thousand years and the question is how do you make breakthroughs in philosophy? And it turns out this may well be a way of making a breakthrough in philosophy, it's by tag teaming with computer science in various ways. That's genuinely exciting to me in a way I never expected when I started doing philosophy to be excited.